hello hello handsome and beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel uh if you're new to this channel kindly consider subscribing liking sharing and commenting down below yeah it's a girl enjoy here and i really appreciate your support and love i don't take anything for granted so guys uh you all know that i was in saudi arabia for almost four and a half good years and i came home the other day i came back home the other day yeah and i decided to call angie b at the airport and she did came i really appreciate her for coming to uh for coming to receive me at the airport so actually i thought that i was coming home to be happy and everything you know after four years but definitely i did not come to be happy maybe i came and met disappointments you also my boyfriend who was at who came at the airport i had told him to come at the airport but again i didn't tell him that angie b was coming at the airport so uh i got so surprised and shocked that him and angie b knew each other you all saw that video if you haven't watched at uh on angie b's youtube channel kindly go and watch it i never knew that angie b and uh sam knew each other until they came and met at the airport you understand so um when i asked them how they knew each other they didn't answer me but later on a lot i came to realize that a lot was covered behind the curtains whereby i i got more shocked you understand so yeah i i just hope angie b will come through and help me out yeah right now i'm home um niko kwetu i'm not at anyone's at my boyfriend place or something niko kwetu and i just hope he uh he will come back to his senses and give me back my cash um first of all sasha i came to realize that sasha alikuwa make your sijini migu ya ngombe me myself i wasn't watching those videos because nilikuwa up and down when i wanted to travel so i had a lot to cover up before i i traveled you understand so i decided to just not watch until i come back home yeah guy unajua when i came home bado sikuwa nime buy wifi i had not bought a wifi so sikuwa na watch for some three days or something sikuwa na watch until i bought the wifi to only to come and realize that they knew each other through sasha and me myself i know sasha as sam's as sam's sister okay namjua vizuri but i didn't know they were walikuwa wana abudu miungu or something i didn't know they were witches i didn't know completely but for them they claim that i knew that they were witches or something they claim that they are the ones who took me to saudi arabia but me myself know that me i trust god i i serve god i don't serve a human being you understand i do not serve a human being so when they were telling me that ni wao ndo alinipeleka saudi you know i got confused i didn't even say a word because of course it's god and me myself i trust that god can do anything you understand so and i trust that i myself i trust in god i trust that god is there there is a living god but again coming to realize that sasha who who happens to be my indo is a witch she does witchcrafts huh guy that one shocked me it really shocked me because i knew completely nothing they claimed that i knew maybe maybe they thought i knew but me myself i know si kwa najua i didn't know anything about witchcraft again on the other side uh ni pesa yangu ndio ilitumika kutoa sasha miguu ya ngombe wow 
it's my money that works on Sasha to be normal again because you all know that she alikuwa amekewa miguza ngombe so hizo miguza ngombe siju akapewa 84000 i knew nothing even me wakati na, naita Angie B, i didn't call her like ikwena drama sikwe everything no i didn't all i wanted was a loyalty test because yeah actually i wanted a loyalty test but somehow kwa anajua sam who is my boyfriend how kwa anajua that uh Angie B is coming over and how could you at Angie B will come to do a loyalty test you all muliona likata kuweka password mara sijui they are intimate with Sasha who happens to be his sister they are intimate with uh, the so called the person I may save my son of which he is uh, definitely a gay because according to the text uh, the kwazi kwazi nasema tu they are uh, he is a gay zima stima zima stima he is a gay so um i didn't i i actually did not know that he was a gay that one, that one surprised me the most third I didn't know that he sells himself for money for only 1500 shillings that is too low of of anyone like that is too low of anyone 1500 Kenyan shillings cannot make you sell yourself in fact as a man that is too low that is too low okay it is too low so Actually guys just uh tell me on the comment section what I should do what I should do next because at the airport I was so happy I was super super excited I did not know what is going to be revealed I did not know what is covered behind the curtains they claim that even their own mom is a witch and they claim that me najua me I know nothing I know completely nothing I don't know I cannot come on camera and start lying to you I know nothing I truly know nothing So to be honest I'm surprised I'm surprised as Rin as Rin me personally as Rin I'm surprised like a lot is happening you understand a lot is happening that uh, every day new things get to be revealed like new things every single day new things are revealed okay new things are revealed that just leaves me in a shock Just tell me on the comment section what should I do? What should I do? According to you what do you think is the best option for me to take? Is the best decision for me to take? Of course, I cannot stay in a family that do witchcraft. I cannot. That one I cannot. So, I can myself out. Um immediately they give me my cash, I'll be out of that family. I'll be out of that family. Sasha, I used to love you so much. I used to love you so so much but to be honest i disrespect you by now i do disrespect you i disrespect you because how can you just accept like which 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 how can you accept to be a witch like that is being a witch because hizo vitu zenye unafanya mimi azinifurahishi your brother like vitu mnafanya are not even adding up those what you are doing is not even adding up it doesn't even make sense at all at all you guys should just think about it go back to god mungu anawapenda you cannot you cannot just live to uh to obey human being you cannot live to pray to to i mean to kuabudu what is kuabudu in english uweze ukaishi kuabudu miungu i do not abudu miungu na hizo dawa zenu zenye mnafanya ati mimi ni gome kwa hiyo familia yenu trust me it's not going to work for you it's not going to work me myself i know god still lives god is there god loves me and he cannot let me get into trouble so guys tell me what should i do on the comment section i'll be reading your comments and i'll take your advices okay thank you so much for watching 
watching uh until we we meet later yeah goodbye for now until we meet bye